Now, I've known Paul almost 20 years at this point, and I remember when this thing was orange and it used to go ba 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 ba. It was so cool going for cruises in this car. Now, I know this is his pride and joy. He would never sell this car. This is that one car that he will never sell. So I feel very privileged that he has chosen me to build this car and I want to do this car justice. It deserves to be finished and driving on the road and I really want Paul to really enjoy this car. So with that said, it's time to build it. Let's get this thing on the hoist. Um, it's got a flat tire overnight, so one of the tires going around, doesn't matter, we're not gonna use it anyway. But let's get it on the hoist, take the wheels off, and have a look through it. Let's uh, get to know the car we're gonna be working on for the next few months. something inside the tire. I don't know what that is. Okay, so the wheels were really stuck on and I had to start hitting them with a hammer to get them off. Things are going to be stuck and uh, unfortunately I didn't catch the driver's side one and it fell on my foot. I thought my reflexes were better than that. But um, I'm going to take that under advisement and I am going to inox every nut in this entire car that I think I'm going to undo during this build. Um, that will make my future life a lot easier. Now, while we're here, I just wanted to quickly show you these brakes. This is insane, my hand, my hand is bigger than these brakes, which is actually insane. Now, this isn't a heavy car, it is a light car, so it doesn't need massive brakes, but K70 brakes will be a great upgrade for this car. Now, it's not gonna be doing track work or anything like that, and the wheel that he wants to fit over the brakes K70 is probably going to be the biggest brakes that we can fit anyway, but we'll use all nice new stuff and the braking performance will be much better than the factory setup anyway. Now, I'm going to go through this entire car and I'm going to inox every uh, bolt. Let's do that. <music> Okay, so the suspension is now inoxed, which will make it much easier to remove. Before I do that though, I need to measure the front suspension and its relation to the front guard with the new wheel. We're gonna be running flares all the way around the car and I'm gonna need a longer control arm to make the wheel come out a bit further to meet that flare. I don't have a front wheel though, but I do have a rear. The rear is a lower offset, which means it comes further out. But when I get the new wheel, I can just measure the both offsets of the wheels and then subtract that difference from my measurements that I take here. That will tell me exactly where the new wheel sits on the guard. Then I can take all the suspension out. So let's remove this wheel and fit it here and see where it sits.
Now, one thing I didn't mention is the front is still 4x110. Now, it does fit on because these wheels have got these style of wheel nuts. And, um, but I've got these just to fit it on. And all I need to make sure is this wheel sits on the hub flange perfectly. So we get a good measurement. Okay, so the wheel sits 50 mil out from the guard. So I know where the rear wheel sits with the factory suspension in relation to the factory guard there. With those measurements, I'll be able to work out exactly where the wheel should sit when I put the flare on. Because I can put the flare on, measure how far that is out from the factory guard, and then I'll know the exact measurement I need to bring out the front suspension. Easy. And now we can pull the front suspension out. Okay, so we've got the front suspension out. It's relatively easy, very simple suspension, but everything was rusted on. So it took a little while longer than expected. But let's do the rear suspension. Let's get the rear diff out.
Okay, and the suspension is out. Uh, it was actually relatively easy. I do like working on this car. Um, it's easy to get bogged down when you're doing a build like this simply because there is so much to do. Now, we all know someone with uh, a car on jack stands that's been there for a while, and I tend to think that a lot of people get bogged down with the amount of things they need to do. A build like this is simply a thousand small things to do. Just do one and then do another and do another and you do enough and you'll get the build done. That's how I stay motivated and finish all my builds. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe as it does help out the channel. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to pull the engine and gearbox.